In one of my prior videos, I installed a carbon fiber dashboard cover on my Tesla Model Y here. And I really love the look of it. I love the carbon fiber look way more than I like the wood portion that is underneath it. But see, there's the problem. I can lift up this cover really easily. And over here on this side, it doesn't stay down at all because it's slightly too narrow. So it just constantly has stayed up. And it actually has been up worse than this in the past, but when I installed this screen right here, it helps to hold it down better, but it's still not a very great solution. And I also like that, of course, it comes with these side pieces that cover the door, but these also don't stick very well. So the double-sided sticky tape that this came with is just awful. And you can see it just pops right back up now because it's gotten enough grit on it in the back. And this one on this side is loose enough that it kind of rattles as you drive. So I haven't been super happy with this. I like the aesthetic, but I don't like how it just does not stay attached to the surfaces very well that it is supposed to stay attached to. So when Test Studio reached out to me and offered their carbon fiber dashboard, and this is where the whole actual dashboard is carbon fiber and you replace the dashboard rather than just put a cover on it, I took them up on their offer because I thought, hey, this is gonna look a lot better and it's gonna be an actual dashboard replacement rather than just a facade put on top of it. And it comes with the side pieces for the doors as well. This is the box that they shipped to me. It comes with their Test Studio booklet that has a variety of other products in it that they sell. And you can, of course, go look on their website and see all these same products. And then they have a good half inch of foam here on top and then good foam suction here to protect the pieces inside. So this right here is one of the door pieces. And they said this is 3000 count carbon fiber. You can see this is all the mechanical parts on the back that will attach it into the car, actually replacing the door piece that is normally there that is wood. And this looks really nice. And I got the matte finish and they have one that's glossy as well. And then here is the other piece for the other door, of course. And that also looks really nice. This looks like it's just a factory part, but it just comes with carbon fiber instead of the wood trim. And then last but not least is the dashboard itself, which is the main event, of course. It's the biggest part. It looks really nice. Just like the door pieces, it looks like it's straight out of the factory. It just has carbon fiber instead of wood. Here you can see a cutout for where the steering wheel goes. And this is a cutout for the center display. And then this is the underside of it, and it just has all of the same channels and everything you would expect from a factory dashboard. So I'm going to work on removing the old dashboard, and then I will get this one installed. The first thing to do is put a pry tool right here and just pry out from this bottom point, and you can see that there is a clasp right there that we just popped out. Now, there are two more right here, but let's just take the whole dashboard off first, and then we'll take those off when we can see things better. And here's an example of how this has been looking on the outside. And also the same for the other side. And now after popping off those lower points, all we need to do is open the glove box. And then with this edge now exposed, you can just lift up on it and it will lift up the dashboard just like that, pop it up all the way across, and then you can lift it out. And then after getting those points pulled up, you should be able to just kind of gently, carefully lift up on this dashboard piece and lift it out. Now in my case, I have this aftermarket display installed. And as you can see on the bottom there, it is screwed on. This is what it looks like underneath where the dashboard goes. You can see that I have some wires there from my screen, but otherwise this is just where the normal air channels go that is how the Tesla was designed. And we will need to be using this triangular piece on the end still because the new one didn't come with these, so I'm gonna pop these off. I've finished taking the display off of the old one. So this is the old dashboard. This is the new carbon fiber one up here. And you can see they are nearly identical, which is good. And now for swapping over this piece, I'm gonna insert the pride tool right here and then just kind of leverage it off. There we go. And then we'll just switch that right over here and pop it back on, as simple as that. And then for the same thing on this side, I'm just using the same pry tool, pop that off and then switch it up here, pop it on just like that. And now I'm just fitting the new carbon fiber dashboard into its place and then just tuck up the dashboard up under the the flange here, just here, I guess right here, where you can see that you tuck it up under there push it side to side horizontally just a little bit, and then it just pops into place. I'm gonna hear it snap a few times. And then of course here on the side, just push onto this, make sure that's popped in on both sides. And now this is the new dashboard and it looks fantastic. And I especially love of course how on the end here, it actually looks intentional and factory and doesn't have some light wood peeking through on the end. And now that I'm done with the dashboard, I'm gonna come over here and replace this piece. So first things first, I've got to peel up this, which is easy enough to do, except back, back here it is actually holding on pretty good. So I'm using the pry tool to help peel off that double-sided sticky tape. There we go. 
got some remnants of that stringing out behind. To get this door trim panel tool off, I'm using two pry tools. And then once I get it here in front, there's this space right here. So I can put the pry tool in right there and pry it forward. It's making some creaking sounds. It's a little disconcerting, but also means that we're moving, moving some things. There we go. Perfect. There we go. And then here on the back has this hook that goes all the way back into here to hold it. So you can see that there is a clip here, 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 and here. Seems overkill to me. There's a lot of clips there, but the key is to get under the trim right here in this front corner, and then you can pop it off the rest of the way relatively easily. And then here is the replacement piece. So it has that same hook we push back in there, start it fit there, and then move it forward, make sure everything looks aligned, and then push it in. Get those clips in place. And there we have it. And here is the door trim fully installed, and I think this looks far superior to the wooden trim that they have from the factory. It matches the aesthetic way better. Also, as a simple pro tip, I recommend using their packaging to kneel on because it feels so much better than concrete on your knees. And now I'm going to do it on this side. First, I'm taking off the carbon fiber cover that was there previously. I'm just leveraging this behind. Be careful not to put too much pressure on this soft finish up here on the top edge. In this case, it's being pretty persistent up here in the front. So coming across the bottom, I was able to get into it back here and now pop it off. There we go. And now to put in this new one, it just hooks in right there. Pops in really easily compared to how hard it is to get off. And there is the end result of this passenger side door panel. And it looks great. And this is what it looks like completely finished inside the car all the way around. And I really just love this, this aesthetic. And considering that I just replaced three parts in the car and I could do it in just a short amount of time while I'm also filming, this is a really simple install to do. It's helpful to watch some videos online such as mine to just see where to pry and where to you know pop those um, fixtures loose. And also to pop those fixtures loose, it requires a pry tool, which it doesn't come with. So keep that in mind. You may want to buy a pry tool prior to taking these off. But once they're on, now they look completely factory. It's the actual factory part from Tesla that has carbon fiber there instead of wood. And so it looks really good and clean. And I love the aesthetic and how it matches the car. Now, some things to note about this dashboard and the door trim panels is that they are 100% handmade and they are made with real dry carbon fiber materials. Like I said before, they are 3000 count carbon fiber. The matte finish on them is helpful to keep fingerprints at bay rather than the glossy finish. And I quite appreciate that because my kids get their fingerprints everywhere. If you're interested in picking up this dashboard and the door panels for yourself, I will include a link in the description below that will give you 22% off. With that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.